Hey guys and welcome towards the scale. So what you're seeing on the screen may very well be the future of getting into the AI overviews. I call it a dynamic answer block. As you can see, it has a few peculiar features like the answer target with a confidence score assigned, like a dynamic tab that answers different semantic variations of the question, like our assessment of the consensus and the links to the reputable sources everybody can follow. And before I show you how to create this answer target or a dynamic answer block, let me go over some of the reasons why I think it's very important. So the dynamic answer block, how to dominate Google AI overuse in 2025 and beyond. As you know, Google AI now powers 65% of search results. These statistics vary across different industries, but this is a general consensus. Uh, top positions unfortunately no longer guarantee you any traffic and AI overuse are basically stealing your clicks, playing into the whole zero click search results. So when you're providing an answer, make sure you assess the confidence level. You have an expert verified badge. Basically do everything to ease the job of the LLMs of Google and ChatGPTs alike. The traditional answer snippets are static, uh, they give you the one size fits all, often ignoring the user search intent. Very rarely does the answer snippet have any verification or references to authority or accuracy play, none. And again, we are here trying to correct this. So no confidence score, no expert verification, no context adaptation. And this is what we are trying to crack with the new dynamic answer blocks. What this is, is the advanced answer system that adapts to user context, allows answers to different intents, shows confidence scores, and highlights human verification. So this is again a mockup of how it really should look like. And this kind of answer, again, not only provides a direct answer to the search query, but it also verifies the information used to write this answer and give, gives out a confidence score and links back to the sources. So once again, the three features of this answer block is confidence scoring, contextual adaptation, and human verification. I think all are extremely important. And how it works is very simple. You first identify a keyword. You then run a prompt in GenSpark or Deep Agent inside of Abacus, and you get the HTML ready to be copy pasted onto WordPress. This is how it looks like. Potential results being a higher chance of getting into Google AI overuse, more engaged editors, and easy implementation because you can, without rewriting your current articles, you can just slap on this HTML code to get the benefits. So this is the prompt. This prompt is going to be in my GenSpark Academy where we are writing multimedia articles, articles that rank in 24 hours, storyboard articles, animated articles, you name it. But basically, this is a process if you wanted to replicate it. It first starts with a role. You're an expert SEO content strategist and Google AI over your optimization specialist. The step one is the keywords analysis, where your task is to analyze the keyword search intent, identify the primary underlying question, generate three to five related semantic questions, determine contextual variations, and assess commercial value. Then step two would be to research the current top ranking content, identify gaps in existing answer block future snippets, find authoritative sources and expert opinions. Step three would be the actual creation of the answer, which would be 25 to 35 words. Then it would contain a confidence level assigned to it and a human verification badge. And as a final step, this will be converted into the HTML with CSS. And these are some of the things that this prompt should follow. And the end result again looks like this. So the question and the OGs will recognize this for what it is. The keyword is can dogs eat longan. So the answer is dogs can eat longan flesh in small amounts, but seeds contain toxic saponins causing vomiting and diarrhea, always remove shells and seeds completely before feeding. It gives you the general answer. It assigns the confidence score. It says that around 85 of the sources are actually in agreement on this. And then it gives you a few variations. So this is basically the main keywords. Then this pertains to what to do if your dog ate longan, how to prepare longan, health 
benefits of longan because it does contain vitamin C and some of the things that on a negative side that longan can cause. And this is extremely valuable. This is the future of an AI overview from the standpoint of a niche blogger. So we're basically feeding an AI overview to the AI overview. And I have not seen anyone talk about this. If you don't want to worry about getting into Google AI overviews, I invite you to check out my search gap method, which is an extremely popular keyword research method that allows you to find underserved keywords and outrank a DA76 website with a DA5. I have multiple, multiple case studies using this method. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.